Well everyone, iOS 16.2 has just officially come out, so let's go and take a look at it on the iPhone 8 Plus and see if it's even worth installing. Now, there's been a lot of improvements with these updates for sure, and within 16.2 there's lots of little changes. I've been rocking the betas and the RC version for a little bit of time, and I do think it's pretty insane to see how big of an update this was for it being in a beta, honestly, for that long is kind of weird. Now, this update does bring a really cool application called Freeform. So now this is a brand new app that Apple has made and it comes pre-installed within iOS 16.2. You can still delete it if you want to, but here it's basically like a whiteboarding type of app. So if you ever wanted to go ahead and kind of like whiteboard things out and have people kind of look at it and share it with other people, well, now you have that type of capability. So I think it's really cool. I don't know if many people are going to use it, but I can definitely see some people being interested in it. But now you have that capability, which I think is actually really cool at the end of the day. So that comes within 16.2. Now we are also getting Apple Music Sing, but it's not supported on the iPhone 8 Plus, which is sad, so I just kind of want to throw that in there. Now we are also getting some new advanced data protection as well. So it's a little tab you can enable now within iCloud, and it will basically enable end-to-end -end encryption on message backups, on pho photos, notes, reminders, basically different things like that. So that's another really cool thing that ended up coming within this update. And again, it's another cool little thing that they just threw in here that they didn't have to, but I'm really happy they're starting to kind of implement these types of changes. Now on top of that, on our lock screen, we now have two new widgets that we can go ahead and kind of configure as well. This is the sleep widget and the medications widget as well. So again, some cool new improvements. I'm really happy they're kind of throwing this kind of stuff in there as well. We are also getting live activity or some new improvements to live activities, which is really cool. And we now have this new airdrop setting, which is kind of controversial. Basically, it will only allow basically you, you to share everyone for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it goes back to, you know, basically context only. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's okay, but I feel like they could have just kept it what it is. I don't know. A lot of people are kind of indifferent about it, so... We'll kind of wait and see what time tells. But essentially, those are the main updates. The main question is, should you go and install iOS 16.2 as of now? And my answer to that is probably, yeah. You know, if you're on iOS 16.2, possibly the best thing you can do is to go ahead and just kind of consider to start updating to this version of software. If you're on 16.1 or 16 in general, then yeah, definitely I'd consider updating. If you're on iOS 15 though, I would probably consider to start updating too. So just back up your devices. If you're considering to update, I think it's kind of stable now. It's going to only get stabler from here if that's a correct way to put it, but there's never going to be a perfect time to update. So I'd recommend just probably updating now and just kind of seeing what happens after that. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, then let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.